Got out of here, boy. Melee all the way. Oh, kid, dick this. Hold on. Oh, he got the. Oh, my boy is letting that thing loose. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> boy is letting that thing loose. Dead let that thing. <laughs> Yo, back up, bro. No, 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 ah! Come on, man. Oh, this battle is about to be rated E for everybody. Hey, welcome back to another video, guys. Yo, <laughs> I'm going to let you guys know. This is the game zone. So here in the game zone, we're going to go over a lot of different games. And one of the games will be Remnants. Yo, Remnants? <laughs> I was expecting this game to come out for a while. And when it came out, yo, I was happy. Friday, last Friday, I copped it on Monday. Friday came. I opened up the game, started to play in it. And I'm going to tell you now. I thought it was easy. I saw from the streams, the community manager, live streaming, he was playing the game. I uh, saw so him dodging everything, killing things so easy. I was like, oh, this is not that hard. Even though he kept emphasizing, like, yeah, I know the mechanics. This is harder than what it looks. Yo, <laughs> he was telling the truth. I got into this game. I was, oh, man, I was getting my ass beat left and right. But, hey, I started to learn. I got better. And, yeah. But, Remnants is a great game. Like, if you play Dark Souls, if you play Dead Cells, if you like roguelikes and Shakira or any difficult game like that, you will love this game. Because of how the world randomizes between you and your friend, it gives a lot of playability in this game. Like, replayability too. I went to my friend's game and played through his levels after playing through mine's, and they were completely different. Like, I ran into enemies in his game mode that I didn't run into during my session. So it's like, wow, it's, it's a good amount of variation and the variation between enemies when you go to different areas is refreshing because it's like one area I go into, there's enemies that are ranged in melee. And one, another area I go into, it might be melee and a ranged elite. So I'll have to always be on my feet watching for these guys. And at the same time, you have to like shift your focus. You gotta make sure you're focusing the right enemy. So if you're in an area with a bunch of ranged enemies and you have a summoner in the corner that spawns melee enemies and also does range attacks, you, you, you're gonna wanna focus the summoner first because it's like, if you don't, it's gonna just become a cluster. A cluster of attacks and you're gonna be spamming spacebar to dodge everything because they are they're gonna keep coming at you and melee mobs these any mobs that come up to you in melee in this game they're difficult because they hit you like a truck they do damage so you don't want to get hit by them and if you don't know the, the choreograph of the enemies like you'll just easily just get destroyed and damn trust me there's a lot of that <laughs> die so many times in this game is crazy but there are a lot of hidden things in this game that I love and it's really good close attention to detail because in the scene right here I go into a dungeon and I run into this guy this guy talking to a tree mind you I, I passed hives these clusters of roots that it looked like it was pulsing it was alive like a nest and I passed by them without killing them, without touching them at all. And then I talked to this guy. You see, he gives me an item after we're done talking. And then I go back to kill the hives. And then I return to him and he's just angry. He's like, yo, what are you doing? <laughs> you killed my trees. And he tries to take me out. And I'm like, yo, what? What if I killed these hives? 
before I talked to him, then he would have just attacked me and maybe I wouldn't have got the ring. Maybe I would have got something else. And then on top of that, it was an area me and my friend went into. It was a tree. It, it had an audible muttering. So you couldn't hear anything the tree was saying at all. So it was just speaking tree language. <laughs> like the language of the roots. And somehow in my friend's world, we went into a dungeon and it was a guy there with a mask. And nah, I'm not going to tell you what happened after that, but things happened we went to the tree and somehow we're able to talk to the tree it, it's speaking our language now we can hear what it's saying and it just grabs my friend lifts him up to the air and then things happen after that you have to find out but it's crazy Battle the attention to detail is beautiful I, in my world i didn't run into that npc i wasn't able to go down into a dungeon and get the item i got in my friend's world because I passed that point, and me being stupid in my world, I was like, ah, I can't understand this tree. I, I can't do nothing about it, so I shot the tree. <laughs> and I, it spawned enemies, I killed it, but, and I got a different item. A way different item than what he did. I don't want to say his item was better, but <laughs> I could have really used it. I'm going to just say that. It's, it's a great game. If, if you're thinking about getting remnants from the ashes, yo, pick it up. I'll say this, if you love Shakiro, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, if you like randomly, not randomly generated, but like sort of procedurally generated areas that looks vastly different from the last time you played through, you're going to want to pick this up. Like, when I picked up this game, I didn't expect this much from a $40 title, and it really gave a lot. I don't want to hype it up, overhype it or anything, but it, I feel like the game is really good it has a lot of potential gunfire they put work into this game and it, it really shows down to the sounds that you hear while you're playing like you'll hear chimes for when an elite spawns you got to make sure you watch out for that because if you have a bunch of enemies swarming you and then you hear the chime in the background and you didn't tip pay attention to that audio cue you gonna have a you gonna have a monster running out with two claws, or you gonna have like a leak coming out with a staff summoning things, and it just gets crazy. Or you you get a spider with a machine gun on his back. Nah, let me. Nah, that's too far. Nah, that's too much spoilers for you guys. I'm like yeah, a spider with a machine gun on his back. It's, yo, when I tell you this game is great too, it's so great, man. Like you can also do different builds. Like, at the beginning of this video, you saw a clip of me fighting a dragon. And you could tell I, I didn't dodge those attacks at all. And there's a reason for that. The armor set I had equipped, when I take damage, I do more damage. So, by me getting hit by that fire, it applies a stacking buff. It stacks three times. And my armor set, fully equipped, grants me 13% extra damage. So... If it stacks up to three times, 13% extra damage, 39% more damage, and then when I hit headshots, that's also another multiplier. So you just see me doing all red crits on this this boss because his weak point, his headshot point, weak point would be his chest. So I start shooting that, and you see red colors, and yo, the numbers 200, 100, yo. Know, with a beam weapon and it wasn't doing that before you saw at the beginning of the video i'm doing 12 10s 15s 20s and then i hit that crit point with the multiplier i have on plus i got the bubble to protect me against the range attacks yo it, it's it's you could do things with the builds in this game that it, it's great man like i call this my insurance build it was a build i was running with at the beginning of the game that allows me to summon two minions. I ran with that on my pistol, and then I ran with the decoys on my shotgun. And I put the decoy on my shotgun because the more damage you deal, the more my power you get back. So I used the minions on my pistol, so it slowly increased over time. And on my shotgun, I had a lure. So if any crazy situation happened and it went out of, spiraled out of control, like it, I couldn't like do anything and I thought I was about to die, I popped that mod, throw it on the ground, everybody's aggro to that thing. So I'm able to heal, I'm able to do what I need to. And then 
if I have minions up, I summon my minions to attack the enemies while they're attacking the lure and to just overall have a safe situation. Changing the situation from, oh, oh snap, I'm about to die. I should really do something to, all right, I'm good now. I can, I think I got this. Like, the builds, it's a lot of flexibility. I even found a necklace that increases regenerating mob power. That's, that's even better. Like, guys, it, this game has a lot of flexibility, and I'm loving it. I expect more videos on remnants from the ashes because there's a lot of remnants in these ashes. Bad jokes, but hey, <laughs> a lot of remnants in these ashes, man. And there's a whole bunch of different bosses. Like, let me throw up a few, few clips of a few bosses I fought already. Oh no, multi bosses. Oh my god, he got a sword, he has a blade. One's magic. Exactly. Those. All of those. And then there's another boss. Oh my god. I'm not spoiling that boss at all. All I gotta say is the boss is a DJ. That's it. The boss is a DJ. That's all I have to say. And you're like, oh, the boss is a DJ? What? That doesn't make any sense. You'll know when you get to the boss. <laughs> this boss is insane, man. I thought they couldn't get any bigger, but just, they showed me. Like, man. And the thing is, too, dialogue really matters in the game. So it's like all of the choices and the decisions you make will impact your gameplay. And there's, oh, like I said before, a whole host of secrets. Secrets everywhere. That base you spawn in, there's a whole bunch of secrets in that. That's all I'm going to say. A whole bunch of secrets there. Look around. Don't forget to look around the base. Some things you have to turn off in order to get access to. It's, it's crazy, but I'm, that's all I'm going to say. I got the spoiler alert up there for a reason, but I'm not going to spoil you too much because the game's not out for the rest of you guys. Whoever didn't pre-order the game, I know you guys don't have it right now. Oh, probably should have pre-ordered it. That's what I'm saying. But it's great to be safe. Be, it's great to be on the safer side of things because, you know, games nowadays. <laughs> games nowadays. <laughs> It, they falsely advertise what they have in a game and you end up spending your money I'm not gonna lie I was recently got our early access about a month ago called kill squad it was only 20 beams $20 but it's I'm not gonna lie the game was in really early access and I probably should have looked up a lot more before I purchased it so that's all I'm gonna say, but I hope the game grows. It's not a bad game, but there's a lot to be done with it. So I fully understand that you guys want to be on the safer side when you go to buy games because the market nowadays, people don't know how to act. Some developers don't know how to act. Some publishers don't know how to act. But I would say this this game right here, Remnants, is one of the better ones to come out this year. And and in September everything's going down because we know how much is being released we know borderlands 3 is coming out we know all of this <laughs> it's crazy how much is coming out in september if you want me to cover it that's what i'll be doing and if you don't want me to cover it i'll still be doing that so yo chill out hang here at the channel drop a sub yo i catch you guys later